Welcome to our video. We are from CISC and we are the leading developer of RFID test and measurement solutions. Our RFID Explorer is the state-of-the-art testing device on the market to measure the performance and conformance of your RFID tags, readers and RFID systems. RFID Explorer helps to increase the quality in your development process and hence reduces your costs and your time. Customers across all fields and industries worldwide trust in our RFID testing device to make their RFID products better. Hello, in this video I'd like to present our Sniffer and Tech Emulator software. With the help of the Sniffer you can automatically detect um, reader issues. You can also use our fully configurable tech emulator to evaluate the impact of any tech violations um, on the reader. So for the setup you just need our RFID Explorer with an antenna and the reader and you can place a few tags and also our fully configurable tech emulator here. So let's go on to the software. Um, first we start our reader that is now transmitting and reading the tags. And we can then see here the reader and the tag communications. So what you can see here is um, some reader commands and also the tag responses that are decoded here. Um, for further details, you can easily check the frame info tab, which commands are decoded and further information on, on these commands. So like the Dari, the Artikal, and so on. You can further analyze also the um, commands in more details. So having a closer look at the reader waveforms and at the reader envelope graphs and the reader spectrum. Also, you can evaluate um, the, the text responses using our tech analysis tab, which shows you the message data and the turnaround time and so on. What you can do as well is you can stream or you can record this information to a stream file using this button and also stream it to an XML log file. These files you can later on use um, for analysis and if you load this here into the record analysis tab you can then zoom into these um, commands that are listed in our tree and show them again in the main tab. In there you can then again go into the frame analysis and check all the command parameters, the reader analysis and the tag analysis as well. The XML file you can evaluate in the communication analysis tab. This tool displays the Q value development over time and also the tag population time distribution. Furthermore, you can see here many statistics like um, the Q value, how many responses, how many empty slots and how many collisions have been detected. Furthermore, you can display the number of commands that are, that are present within the XML file. Also, you can perform automated conformance check by activating here this check mark. Starting the measurement and saving the data to an XML log file. Within a browser, it shows you for each command the necessary conformance information. So here you can see, for example, for the link timing, um, the T1 and the T3 T2 and the T4 time are measured and it's shown um, what's the minimum and the maximum allowed values and it's shown if it's in range or not. At the end of this file you can also see then a summary which tells you if your reader is for all commands that have been measured within the, the specified ranges. Furthermore we also have the possibility to use our tag emulator and to emulate several tags. We simply activate here our tag emulator and can then see the communication with this. We can, um, we can configure the tag emulator 
um, and give it different D1 offsets. Use multiple tags, for example, or also activate the sequence mode. And we can also configure our tag emulator to emulate some um, errors, like a collision or a wrong handle for the different commands. Furthermore, we can configure the memory of our tag emulator. 